Einstein might be wrong. All hell broke loose in the physics community. There isn't any connection with observations. It's supposed to be a theory of the way the world operates. And if the number of dimensions of space is just wrong, I can't take it seriously. In the shrouded realms of October's 4th, a mysterious tale unfurled as John Clauser and Anton Zeilinger ascended to claim the elusive Nobel Prize in physics. Their enigmatic achievement reverberates through the annals of science, unveiling a cryptic truth that defies our perception of reality. This narrative, weaving the fates of the brightest minds, resonates with intrigue, for it recounts a rare instance where even the intellectual giants, including the revered Einstein, found themselves in bewildering uncertainty. At its core lies the enigma of locally real, a duality of locality and realness that challenges the very fabric of the universe. The former posits that the universe's workings are confined to their immediate surroundings, where the distant remains aloof. The latter, realness, is a mysterious essence that eludes easy comprehension, captivating the focus of the Nobel Prize and beckoning to be unraveled. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. In the early 1930s, the landscape of physics was divided into two enigmatic paradigms, each offering a unique perspective on the fundamental nature of the universe. One school of thought, championed by the venerable Albert Einstein and shared by many esteemed scientists, postulated a reality where particles, atoms and electrons possessed inherent, unchanging properties regardless of whether they were being observed or measured. According to this view, akin to the age-old philosophical question about a tree falling in an unobserved forest, these entities retained their characteristics in isolation. In essence, if a tree were to fall when no one was present to hear it, it would indeed make a sound. However, in the shadows of this perceived certainty, an opposing group emerged, led by luminaries like Niels Bohr and numerous other scholars. These anti-realists proposed a perplexing alternative. They argued that particles existed in a state of uncertainty, their properties remaining undecided until subjected to measurement. This conceptual realm was a wave function, housing a spectrum of potential states with particles making their definitive choice only when an observation was made. One of the most famous illustrations of this enigma is Schrodinger's cat, which, until observed, existed in a paradoxical state of both life and death, much like the conundrum of the tree in the uncharted forest. Einstein, though celebrated for his genius, grappled with these peculiarities in quantum mechanics, which ultimately culminated in a seminal paper known as the EPR paper. Together with his colleagues Podolsky and Rosen, they crafted a thought experiment designed to expose the inadequacies of quantum theory. At its heart lay the concept of entanglement, a phenomenon in which two particles remained intrinsically connected, sharing their fates even when separated by vast distances. Their rationale delved into the conservation of energy, a fundamental law dictating that objects could not spontaneously alter their properties, be it motion, rotation, or other characteristics. To illustrate, consider a small quantum particle that, at its inception, had no inherent motion or spin. If this particle were to spontaneously split into two, and upon measurement, one was found to be moving to the right by the principles of momentum conservation, the other counterpart should logically be moving to the left. However, Einstein raised a formidable challenge. He argued that such instantaneous correlations violated the principle of locality, the idea that information couldn't travel faster than the speed of light. In his view, these particles had determined their properties from the outset, but human understanding and measurement techniques were still in the process of catching up. He coined this latent understanding, hidden variables, contending that these variables were the missing pieces of the quantum puzzle awaiting discovery. The stage was set and the enigma deepened as the scientific community stood divided between the realists and the anti-realists, and Einstein's unresolved riddle lay at the heart of quantum mechanics. The quest for quantum proof gained substantial momentum around 1964, a pivotal year marked by the work of John Bell, an Irish physicist who embarked on theoretical exploration during a sabbatical from his duties at CERN. 
This endeavor led to the formulation of Bell's theorem and Bell's inequalities, diverse in form and offering an intricate framework to resolve the age-old conundrum that had eluded even the brilliant mind of Einstein. Bell's fundamental pursuit was to compel the universe to take a stance, to reveal whether hidden variables existed, corroborating Einstein's viewpoint, or if the eerie wave function of quantum mechanics held the ultimate truth. The crux of the matter hinged significantly on what transpired when quantum objects underwent the process of measurement. This crucial act of observation had the potential to unravel the mysteries of the quantum realm, providing answers to questions that had intrigued the scientific community for decades. The implications of these enigmatic phenomena extend far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. They are, in fact, the bedrock of the burgeoning quantum computing revolution, which holds the promise of reshaping the technological landscape. Quantum computers, with their innate ability to exploit the interconnectedness of quantum particles at their core, herald a potential future where they outperform classical computers in unprecedented ways. However, it's vital to clarify a common misconception. While quantum phenomena hint at the possibility of superluminal communication, the prevailing consensus within the scientific community refutes this notion. The core of this phenomenon lies in inherent randomness, a defining characteristic in the generation of photons and entangled particles, as well as during the measurement process. Each photon's fate when confronted with a polarizer remains uncertain, as does the precise combination of quantum states it embodies. The complexity of these factors renders the idea of harnessing superluminal communication virtually impossible. The formidable barrier posed by Einstein's unassailable assertion remains, reaffirming that the speed of light stands as an unyielding and fundamental limit within the universe. In the intricate tapestry of quantum mysteries, the contributions of figures like John Bell weave a narrative that transcends mere scientific curiosity. They beckon humanity towards a future where the boundaries of technology and understanding may expand, while the enigma of quantum mechanics continues to both perplex and inspire. As John Bell delved deeper into quantum mechanics, his pioneering work, Bell's Theorem, probed the mysteries of quantum entanglement and hidden variables. Bell's Theorem challenged the very fabric of reality, revealing the universe to be profoundly non-local, transcending classical notions of causality. These groundbreaking experiments raised questions about the completeness of quantum mechanics, leading to a paradigm shift. The repercussions extend beyond theory, as quantum technologies, fueled by these mysteries, promise to revolutionize computing and secure communication. In conclusion, the journey from Einstein's skepticism to Bell's revelations has left an indelible mark on our understanding of the universe. Quantum physics continues to captivate, reminding us of the boundless mysteries awaiting discovery in the enigmatic realm of the quantum world.